welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to design a simple warm warm wheel re warm gear reducer here you will see how the gear reduces the speed of warm wheel with the help of this gear box so let's see how to do in solid box and we will do little animation at the end uh, you will uh, learn here how to do the explode exploded view of any parts any assembly and uh, let's see Here let's make the first part of warm gear, choose your front plane, a sketch, select line and start to draw from one end. Exit. Now this is our geometry, so first define it. 116 mm, 10 mm, 56 mm, keep 10 mm, by default 40, now select this height, 8.25 mm. Choose this mid nine point five MM. Keep nine MM. And let's define the distance from origin point to one end. Keep thirty eight MM. And distance from bottom line. eleven point seven mm this also let's define nine mm now see the geometry is fully defined so go to feature here find out revolve boss base and select this bottom line as a axis okay now see here we will define the material polished steel now select here right plane A sketch normal select the outer circle and convert it now it's going to convert you can see here it's converted now we want to create here thread warm gear thread so we have to create first path so select this circle feature and find out here helix and spiral uh, we will create first path select here height and pitch 24 mm 6 mm uncheck reverse box 90 degree clockwise and this one uncheck ok now we want to create teeth profile so choose front plane a sketch normal first draw the center line vertical cons construction line uh, let's draw one circle here and define this circle from this line 3.5 mm diameter keep 2 mm ok select here line select up to this circle then vertical line exit mirror select these two lines and mirror against vertical center line ok now connect both the lines in bottom 
choose here trim entity trim this inside lines okay tangent okay now define this width 3.8 mm and any distance from here it's no matter now simply exit now it's time to create the warm gear thread so find out here sweep to boss base the profile selected just select the path you can see here okay now the one side thread created now we will create a half thread so select here first sketch 2 click here helix and spiral you can select the plane right plane okay now select this circle previous sketch 2 convert and select helix and spiral now again we need to create the thread path so this time keep the everything same height and pitch 24 by 6 and only change the direction and counter clockwise 90 degree okay now see now select this face sketch now select the sketch number 3 convert entity now it is converted now simply exit now again choose the same swift boss base see here profile is selected just select here path now you can see the warm gear thread now this is the warm gear thread see now here uh, we will do one thing select this face a sketch converted entities we want to little extru ex extend it so select extruded boss and extrude up to 50 mm more okay now again select this face a sketch and select this circle this outer circle convert entities see it's converted now we want to cover it some portion here select extruded boss select here offset 60 mm reverse direction see and this also make it reverse and here select up to surface select up to this surface see this portion we want to extrude it here select okay now that's it this is the our body now select this face a sketch normal now here we want to create key slots so select here a center line corner rectangle Three point two five millimeter, one point five millimeter, and do one thing. Select here line and center point coincide. Okay, so now it is in center position. Uh, let's make the diameter. Seven point zero five. okay now it's time to extrude cut we want to cut here a key slot so make it length 20 mm okay that's it now select this face sketch convert entity and extrude it we want to extrude up to 20 mm 
that's it choose here chamfer 0.5 millimeter and 45 degree select this face here okay so this is the our warm gear is ready now let's save it go to desktop create a folder warm gear reducer okay and make it this is first part warm gear save let's do the other parts let's do the here next part warm choose front plane sketch select here circle make here two circles outer circle keep 87 mm diameter and inner keep 30 mm select center line vertical center line let's make rectangle Ten mm. Okay. Now we will make a relation. Select these three lines and make relation symmetric. Okay. Choose stream entity. Okay. Again, choose dimension and select this. Keep four mm. Okay, now it's time to extrude. Keep here end condition mid plane twenty two point seven mm. Okay. Now let's define the material. Polish the steel. See here. Select fillet. Keep two mm. Select the this face. circular face okay delete we want to add chamfer not fillet 2 mm 45 degree now select this surface or face okay now see here right plane sketch normal first draw the center line circle keep the distance here to center line 52 mm and keep the diameter 21 mm see here okay select center line and draw a horizontal construction line make sure it is horizontal now it's time to cut we want to cut a half circle here a slightly circle revolve cut now select here axis see this axis we selected now it's going to cut from the right plane right direction now see now it's time to create some thread select here right plane sketch and select the previous sketch this circle convert see it is converted helix and spiral now we want to create one spiral path select pitch and revolution 6 mm pitch and revolution 0.25 mm 90 degree counter clockwise reverse direction okay now see the path now let's select front plane sketch normal now here we will make the profile first draw a vertical center line
now select here one option center point arc select any one place and draw a arc exit now select both the end of arc and make relation horizontal here also select the line and draw one line exit let's mirror this line to opposite direction now cancel it here we will make some relation select these three lines and create relation symmetric okay select here three point arc select this point to this point now mirror against vertical line okay now it's time to define the dimension from center point to the center of arc 39.13 mm keep the radius 1.8 mm see here okay now let's take upward Six point nine mm radius eighteen mm and select this distance four point six five mm one point three five mm okay now this is the our geometry profile geometry if you can okay now exit now here we want to cut a profile so just simply go to feature select here swift cut select the profile first this profile selected now it is asking for path so select this path you can see here okay now see we cut one path here you can see here now it's time to create another path so select our previous first we will select define this plane right plane sketch that's it now select the our first circle go to sketch and convert it that's it feature and select here helix and spiral keep the same thing only choose counter clockwise reverse direction see it's become twisted now this okay clockwise and reverse direction unchecked 6.25 okay now see the second path is created now se select sketch 4 okay path is there and uh, profile also there so you can directly select here swift cut sketch 4 selected just select path now see it's going to cut in opposite direction okay now see we cut a tapered teeth it's little tapered in cross direction now it's time to make multiple number of patterns circular pattern and here first select swift cut one swift cut two and select this circular face 
we want 44 number of threads okay it will take time maybe because now see so this is the our warm gear let's try steel satin finish okay this is quite better because we can see the geometry now uh, we will do some modification because this gear in in wall it is not looking perfect so do one thing just select here helix and spiral edit feature and here uncheck this reverse direction you can see it here if you we'll check reverse uncheck we want in a circular way okay now it may be shows you some error but it will correct it later that's it it's now select here helix is spiral to edit this is perfect clockwise now select this uh sweep cut out sketch for edit normal now here we want to do some editing just extend little bigger and uh, this dimension just change it make 6.65 mm that's it and here also make some dimension so it will not show you the this is the complete fully defined sketch now here select extruded boss exit from the sketch and uh, let's see now see our is gears warm wheels change changes totally now this is the curve shape what we want for our warm gear now let's save this one we will save as a warm wheel now let's do the other part of gearbox warm wheel reducer here we will create the third part warm gear shaft warm wheel shaft so let's make it here front plane select here corner rectangle okay now let's define it 30 mm and 9 mm radius okay and choose here revolve boss base this bottom line as a axis okay select this face is sketch and here let's make a circle choose here line exit again select here line exit now choose here center line connect origin point to mid point of this upper line exit and select this center line make relation vertical okay now let's define it how to dia 30 mm Ten millimeter, and the distance from here to here, five millimeter. Okay. Make four millimeter. Okay. Choose here trim entity power trim. Just drag and cut it. Okay. Now this is fully defined, so extrude it. We will extrude up to twenty-two point seven because this is the size of our warm wheel. okay <coughs> now select this face sketch now select this circle outer circle convert entity see it is converted and extruded extrude up to 28.5 mm okay 
that's it now again choose here a sketch circle and draw a smaller circle than this current circle let's keep the diameter 28.5 millimeter oh uh, sorry 16.5 millimeter see it is quite little smaller select extruded boss and extrude up to 40 millimeter okay select this face sketch and here we want to create a key slot so select here center line vertical center line corner rectangle uh, okay now let's define Three point two five millimeter. Let's say one point five millimeter, and the distance from here to origin point. Let's keep seven point zero four millimeter. Okay. Now here create one relation. Select the center point of rectangle and construction line and make relation coincident. Okay. Now this drawing is fully defined, so you can extrude it. Extrude cut. now see it here and uh, we want to make the length only 20 mm okay that's it now let's define this some material uh let's choose one chamfer 0.5 mm 45 degree select this end see here that's it now go to appearance metal and uh, we will choose some uh, let's say polished steel that's it now let's save it desktop and find out our folder warm gear reducer and make it part number 3 warm wheel shaft save it now let's do the other part now the next part here let's create the flange for the body body of reducer so choose front plane sketch circle and draw two circles with origin and uh, one more draw and the third one is keep for construction purpose okay now let's define it inside make 36 mm outer 50 mm and the inner one 16.5 mm okay select here circle let's define this circle keep diameter 5 mm okay choose here circular pattern here select this center point here select circle and make it uh, equally spacing six numbers <coughs> okay now here six number of circles fully defined sketch okay that's it now select extruded boss and condition mid plane and keep 2 mm so this is the our flange let's keep the material chrome satin chrome save part number 4 flange now here we will make the warm wheel reducer body main body first part of body so let's start front plane a sketch now here select let's say center rectangle now let's define it 
hundred and four millimeter and the length keep hundred and thirty millimeter okay choose your offset entity keep ten millimeter select circle and make sure it's outside select here change okay now that's it now select extruded boss and extrude up to 29 millimeter okay now select back surface sketch select here convert entities now see outer line is converted now extrude extrude up to 10 millimeter okay that's it now select the back surface sketch and here choose circle let's define it 30 millimeter fifty seven point three forty four millimeter and uh, let's make the distance from bottom line fifty eight point nine seventy six millimeter this is roughly calculated uh, because this dimension will fit over both the gear warm uh, wheel and gear now again choose a circle and draw a little bigger for construction purpose okay select here circle now let's define it 36 millimeter diameter and this one 5 millimeter okay choose here circular pattern select center point and here entities to part pattern select circle delete this is the center point make six numbers equal spacing fully defined sketch calculate ok now see this is our fully defined sketch so it's time to extrude cut select here now see the center hole and the all small holes we are going to cut here select through all ok see uh, we will do one thing let's define some material so it looks go to metal iron cast iron ok uh, this looks a little dark color so we will choose it some color that ok this is perfect cast iron material now select this face sketch circle and draw here a circle let's keep the diameter 30 millimeter and uh, distance from upper line forty point fifty two millimeter okay now again choose circle select here for construction purpose ok circle now let's define it the whole uh, small uh, bold circle should be 5 millimeter and the outer diameter 36 millimeter circular pattern here choose the pattern and delete and choose this is as a center point make equal spacing keep six numbers ok now select here fully defined sketch calculate ok now this is fully defined sketch now select extruded cut now see here we want to cut this half circle and this six holes keep here and condition through all let's see that's it now see fillet keep 3 millimeter and uh, let's choose this all corner A. ok that's it 
so now this is the our body warm gear reducer one side of body let's save it body 1 now with the help of body 1 we will create the opposite direction body so let's choose any plane parallel plane okay front plane go to insert and here you will find one option mirror part select okay now see it is the mirror of our previous part let's change that's it now here we will do some little modification we want to create the hole for oil in and out select this face a sketch normal take another side okay select a hole 8 mm okay let's define it exact then by 10 extruded cut and select here through all okay now here also we want to create one hole select this face a sketch keep 8 mm 12.5 12.5 let's see it should not be cut here <coughs> make it 16 mm extruded cut let's check it here okay so this is the inlet and outlet oil inlet and outlet let's save this body part number 6 body part 2 now here we will make one bolt for this in and out port now here let's make the uh, oil inlet and outlet bolt front plane a sketch draw a circle and let's keep the diameter 7.95 mm extruded boss keep 10 mm now again select this face a sketch and here draw a bigger circle keep diameter 10 mm extruded boss and extrude up to 4.5 mm okay fillet 2 mm select this outer face show here full preview okay fillet 0.5 and select the inside face okay now this last one is chamfer 0.5 mm 45 degree assign a steel satin finish stainless steel let's save part number 7 oil bolt we will say now let's start the assembly of warm now here let's start the assembly of warm 
warm wheel reducer warm gear reducer so select here new assembly okay now this is the solidworks assembly window now here let's browse our first part this is our list let increase the size of list here first we will make body one okay now let's adjust our screen okay let's bring the shaft insert select this face and this circular sorry mat select this shaft so uh, so circular face and this circular face coincident okay and uh, select this face and this outer face should be okay that's it now here we will add some bearings so just go to your design library once you will go to design library you will find one option here toolbox just click it if uh, it is uh, maybe it will ask you add in so just select in bottom here add ins and this list will come comes down and uh, we will go to iso standard bearing ball bearing and select angular contact ball bearing now this is the our ball bearing now we will adjust uh, we already did that's why this dimension came our size is 39 170 od is 30 millimeter number of ball 14 and uh, we will detail add cage 40 number of ball show okay and it is asking one more so select here and uh, select here also one more we need four number of bearings one here okay now choose mat clear select these two faces coincident relation okay now the one bearing is fixed now select the second one this shaft and this bearing co co-centric relation okay at this face and body face coincident okay uh, now select this outer face and this face co-centric relation auto face and this face okay now cancel it now here all the bearings are fixed you can see here let's browse our shaft warm wheel shaft okay just rotate it okay take it out now here we will fix this shaft in this bearing so let's choose mat select this shaft and the hole of bearing course co centric relation okay and uh, the face of bearing and this this face coincident okay now here our warm wheel gear will be going to fixed uh, let's bring this ball bearing both the faces we selected now select this outer face and the back of bearing okay now that's it 
now see insert our main component worm wheel select here mat select these two faces and it co-centric relation okay now we will select this face this is warm wheel face selected uh, clear it because okay now both the things this face and this face coincident okay let's choose these two faces coincident now let's rotate it see it is rotating with shaft that's what we want now let's browse our next part here choose flange press control key click and drag one more part choose mat select this face and this hole ok co-centric relation now here we will do one thing we will select this hole and this hole it should be in parallel way so select here co-centric relation this face and this face ok now the same way we have to fix this in other direction so that this will be hide circular face shaft circular face ok this hole and this hole co-centric relation this face ok now both the shaft fix nut and bolt we, uh, we will fix it from the system now uh, here uh, don't no need to create any gear relation uh, ratio we will do the animation in motion manager let's uh, browse our next component body part 2 again bring oil bolt one piece copy control key and drag mat here you can see this is the option of flip mat alignment and here you can also find out here flip mat alignment ok now drag it select this bottom face and the body face ok drag it reverse ok main body see it's going to fixed here ok ok that's nice perfect select mat co-centric relation select these two faces ok select these two faces now see ok now this is the our main gearbox is ready I think it should be inside this bearing so uh, let's do one thing we will fix it inside so uh, 
let's select this bearing drop down this bearing and here here you will find mats in assembly 2 circular face ok coincident relation just suppress now you can move it here and there so select mat this bo main body face and this face ok that's it now see the bearing is fixed in its place ok transparent now this is the our warm wheel gear reducer or gearbox now in any uh, we will give some animation before giving some animation let's now let's fix the wa uh, bolt here washer bolt just go to design library if you will go to design library here you will find go to toolbox as is standard click bolt and screws here you will find machine screw and this is the hexagonal wash washer head screw this is suitable for our job so just drag it to this bolt see make it m5 length make it Fifteen, sixteen millimeter required bigger. Okay, twelve millimeter. Uh, let's choose schematic. Uh, okay, you can see the thread here. Okay. Now just put the hole, and it will automatically fix. okay okay in the same way we will did here just uh, bring your mouse to near to the hole and click on the surface that's it surface once you select the hole just select on surface here also the same way cancel it and do one thing just change the transparency now again drag it and length same we will keep 12 millimeter m5 okay where is the last hole cancel it mat ok now it's fixed you can uh, fix it the hole by my bolt by manually uh, it helps you this is the one way you can fix your all the bolts now this is the our warm wheel warm gear reducer gearbox now let's change transparency and save it warm gear reducer assembly save it right click here motion manager 
go to motion study here choose motion analysis and here you will select the properties 50 frame per second so it looks nice drag it up to 12 or any second you uh, you like choose here contact i'll select this body and warm wheel and gear uncheck material okay that's it now let's try some animation work here let's choose motor and let's select this face keep rpm more so that you will easily identify the rotation save now click here calculate now it will take time because this is a big calculation so keep patient and uh, we will see it is uh, slowly will start it uh, may take time because uh, this is a uh, quite uh, more number of parts in assembly now see it's rotating you can see it here the warm gear rotating the warm wheel Now see here we skip some part so that uh, we will save some time. Now this near to finish. Now it's almost finished. And let's play again and we will see how it works. Just drop down this menu. Now play. Now see this our warm, warm gear rotating to the warm wheel see the speed of warm gear and speed of warm wheel so this is the gear reducer warm wheel gear reducer so now let's uh, we will do some ex exploded explosion Now drag all the bolt out, drag the washer out, choose the bearing out, again choose it, the oil bolts out, select this all the bolts. and take it out the last bearing also take it out we forget to add here flange actually one flange should be here now the same way here select all the bolts and take it out again choose one by one okay take out washer take out bearing take out now select this main second body take it out now choose uh, first body take there shaft take up then again choose
warm wheel bearing select ok now right click collapse now just play it animate explode see it's going very fast cancel it collapse now here we will add in in our animation we will add this one so go to animation wizard exploded view next and uh, we will start let's say 15 12 second let make it 15 second Uh, this is the 15 second and start time is 15 ok now again collapse uh, 19 second ok no problem and this one keep 30 second finish here select calculate and it will again recalculate all the procedure and uh, you will find at the end now this almost calculated now see now it's going to reassemble So this is the simple tutorial of warm warm gear reducer. Here we will uh, reduce the speed of warm gear with the warm warm gear. Let's play it. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video. And please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Every day we are doing a new projects for the newcomers, for the beginners. I hope you will like it. Uh, you will learn more, more here. So thanks for watching.